Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing Spring Boot 3 and gRPC examples. In this tutorial, we'll be implementing a global exception handler to handle gRPC errors. For this, I'll be taking reference of my website javainews.com. So go to Spring, Spring Boot 3. In Spring Boot 3, go to Spring Boot 3 gRPC examples. The example that we'll be implementing today is Spring Boot gRPC error handling global exception handler using gRPC advice. In previous tutorial, we implemented Spring Boot gRPC error handling using trailer metadata you can go through this tutorial here so in this tutorial we saw that if we want to pass some additional gRPC error handling information then the server puts it into something known as gRPC trailers and then this is sent to the client to understand this tutorial you can go through the YouTube video here for this tutorial at the gRPC server end we had implemented a service named bank account balance service in this service we tried to simulate a scenario where for a particular account number we are not able to fetch the account balance information this could be due to any reason such as a networking issue or suppose any database is down. So in such a scenario, we need to pass this error information back to the client. So this is where we made use of trailer metadata. We stored this error information in trailer metadata and returned it back to the client. So this error handling using trailer metadata for scenarios where we cannot fetch the account balance for a particular account number, we have implemented it only for the bank account balance service. But it may happen that the gRPC server, it has multiple services and this account not found information, it can happen in any of these services. Then in each of the service, we need to implement this code individually. Obviously, this approach, it needs a lot of work and also this is not the right approach because we should be able to reuse this code whenever the particular exception occurs in any of the service. So this is where the global exception handler, it comes into picture. In this tutorial, we'll be implementing a global exception handler using the gRPC advice. So if an exception, it occurs in any of the services in the gRPC server, then we'll be handling this exception in a centralized manner using the global exception handler. So let us begin with the implementation part. We'll be modifying the source code that we had implemented in the previous tutorial. So in this tutorial, Spring Boot gRPC error handling using trailer metadata. We had seen how to pass additional information using trailers. You can go through the YouTube video here. So we'll be modifying the source code that we had implemented for this tutorial. You can download it from here. So the projects that we just downloaded, they are Maven project imported in Eclipse. Next, we'll be building these projects. So run as maven build and use the command eclipse colon eclipse clean is run. Do the same for the gRPC client. So the build is successful. Next for the gRPC server, we'll be creating the global exception handler using the gRPC advice. So we'll be creating a class named bank account advice with the gRPC advice annotation. Also in this class, we'll be having a method named handle account not found exception for which we make use of the gRPC exception handler annotation. To this handler, we pass the account not found exception dot class. So whenever this account not found exception, it occurs in any of the services at the gRPC server end, then this particular method handle account not found exception, it will be called. Let us create this bank account advice class. Go to Eclipse and create a new class here in the service package. Here we make use of the gRPC advice annotation. Also, we'll be creating the method handle account not found exception. You just copy this. For now, we'll just be returning an area. So, whenever this account not found exception it gets thrown in any of the gRPC services, then this method handle account not found exception it will get called. So, what are the steps that we want to take whenever this particular exception it occurs? So if we go to the bank account balance service, whenever this exception occurs, we are passing the error information back to the client. So we'll be doing the same even in the global exception handler here. So we'll want to return the status runtime exception here. Next in the bank account balance service, whenever this scenario occurs where it is not able to fetch the account balance information, then instead of sending this error information back to the client, now we'll be just throwing the exception here. Throw new account not found exception. So once the service it throws this account not found exception, then here we have written a handler for this particular exception. This code will get executed and the error information, it will be returned back to the client. So we are now handling this account not found exception in a centralized manner. So if this particular account not found exception, it is thrown in any other service also, then we will not need to handle it in that particular service, but it will be handled in a centralized manner using the global exception handler that we have written for this account not found exception class. So let us now test this handler code. So I'll be starting the gRPC server in debug mode in a Java application. 
I'll be adding some debug points here and also in the bank account balance service. Here the gRPC server it has started on port 8090. Let us now run the gRPC client code. The last Java application. So the client it will make a call to the gRPC server. So here the request it has been received in the gRPC server. It is account files. So it will come here. A new account not found exception it will be thrown. If you now run this, then here you can see that the handle not found exception method it has been called in the in the gRPC global exception handler that we have written. So we will be passing this custom information back to the client. So here at the client end, we are getting the information that we have passed using trailer metadata. Hope you have understood this tutorial for implementing global exception handler for a gRPC service. You can download the source code from here. Thank you.